the Op to Bottom is coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, I'm going to be taking a look at both the regular and 2018 San Diego Comic Con exclusive one to one scale prop replica Kamoyo beads from Black Panther. Now, I had no idea that these even existed. When I was going through some of the exclusives that would be available at Comic Con, I came across what was being offered at the Toink booth, and these caught my eye. As I said, these are official replicas of the Kamoyo beads from Black Panther. You know, those little the bracelet thingies that had all that tech in there that they could like push the bead and it would do things. That's these guys. For the package, you got a really nice chrome logo there of Black Panther. That looks really nice. Uh, all black around, very heavy duty, sturdy construction on this. Really very nice. Then on the back here, you see the Marvel logo. I believe that these are being produced by Sales One. Uh, that's what's right here but they're being distributed through Toink. And then uh, for the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, the only thing different is you get the San Diego Comic-Con sticker right there. It's the same box. You still have that same... Oh, well, then I don't know what this is. That's uh, definitely not on the original one, then, but whatever. But these are terrific. And then they open up much like a regular jewel-style kind of case. And on the inside, you have a really nice chromed out Black Panther logo right there for both of them. You can see that looks really very nice. And then both do come with certificates of authenticity. It says this document certifies this Kamoyo beat bracelet as an authentic Marvel Black Panther bracelet. This bracelet is an officially licensed Marvel piece of jewelry manufactured by licensee Sales One. Oh, well, all right, well, that answers my own question. And then you got the Black Panther logo right there, and then some really nice uh, silver foil around there. So you do get both of those. And here's the beads. Uh, now, as you can see, what makes the San Diego Comic-Con one exclusive is you have this nice red jewel, whereas the standard one is a blue jewel. Taking a look first at the blue one, this is really really very very nice coming in to take a closer look uh, taking a look at the main bead now the main one is said to hold all the personal and kind of medical information of the wearer so this one is actually specifically worn by uh, T'Challa or Black Panther so that's really cool and then you come around to the opposite side of it and it's got this nice little little silver foil bead thing in there but the rest of them are all really nice they all have these little markings throughout uh, they're different on each side uh, I mean it's I'm guessing Wakandan I have no idea what it means uh, but really nice there's basically it looks like there's three uh, kind of markings on each one I don't know oh it kind of looks like it replicates um, I thought I saw this one already um, maybe it, yeah yeah so some of them are replicated, but it, I mean, in general, it still looks really very nice. Now, uh, setting these kind of off to the side, the other thing that really surprised me now, make believe, right? Uh, these are supposed to be made out of vibranium and it's supposed to have all that technology and stuff in there. Uh, it also has a nice elastic band so it can stretch on there very, very easily. One thing that instantly surprised me though was the weight of these these are very very heavy uh, now to articulate that uh, I'm going to bring in my scale I'm going to turn that guy on and uh, I don't I don't know I, I, I got a couple different things here here's a Apple 3 watch yes I do have a little Jarvis sort of thing on there an Apple 3 uh, or version 3 watch weighs I'll just read it to you it says that it weighs 4.7 ounces which uh, you know is, is a good weight for it uh, taking my case off of my iPhone uh, 8 plus uh, you guys may not have an Apple watch but uh, yeah I a little Jarvis screen on this an iPhone 8 plus oh I have the hold button on there still all right an eight, iPhone 8 plus weighs 7.1 ounces these <laughs> putting this on there oh again I, again I got the whole thing turn that off these weigh 7.7 .7 ounces, so it weighs more than an, than an iPhone 8 Plus, and it weighs more than an Apple Watch. Uh, that really uh, kind of blows me away. It's about half a pound that these guys weigh, and I mean, honestly, 
I, that was the first thing that kind of blew my mind. I mean, the box is really high quality. Uh, what's what's underneath here? Anything underneath there? Oh, no. Uh, really high quality boxes, and I thought that a lot of it, and a lot of it, it's, it's like wood. I thought a lot of the weight was this, but then I opened this, and I'm like, holy cow, that's amazing. So there are the beads that uh, the Black Panther wore. Now, for the red ones, which are the San Diego Comic-Con version, these are all the same. Uh, the little beads around there don't change. But what you have here is a red jewel. And coming in, again, to take a closer look, the opposite side still has that nice silver foil one, but this one is red, which is Shuri, T'Challa's sister's uh, bracelet. So you do get both T'Challa and Shuri, which I thought was a really cool thing. It, it, it's a nice way to give, you know, girls something. I mean, a lot of superhero stuff is really geared towards boys, and I loved Shuri in the Black Panther movie, and, and, and even Infinity War, and it goes to show that she can be a very strong warrior, she can be very intelligent. I mean, she honestly looked at Bruce Banner and was like, why didn't you do that something with uh, Vision this way? And he's like, well, we didn't think about it. And she's like, well, I'm sure you did your best. I mean, I loved it, you know? So it's like, she's basically smarter than Bruce Banner and Tony Stark. I mean, how awesome is that for a female character? Uh, but these uh, as well, I mean, they weigh the same and everything, but very, very heavy. And they just slip on there very nicely with this elastic band. One thing that I will say though, is a bit problematic with these uh, because there's a really nice paint on here if, if it'll focus let's let's get it to focus uh, the sections around here you can kind of see like that's a that's a real good example the rotating here wears this down and you get some a uh, little oh, I don't know if that's gonna come across you get like some little paint rub that comes off of it uh, it's a little unfortunate i don't think there's anything really they could do about it but at least if there is going to be rubbage it's just going to be around the bead section which i don't think is going to look all that bad uh, like you can see that right there has a little bit of that rubbing but really very nice both of these look spectacular uh, honestly and for me who love prop replicas this was a must-have for me uh, and they weren't really all that expensive uh, at the uh, comic-con this was thirty dollars this was 35 which blew my mind because they're prop replicas they're officially licensed prop replicas that look spectacular and are very very affordable a lot of times prop replicas get to be stupid expensive and i have bought some of those and i was just really quite impressed uh, with the, the pricing for these so I just wanted to do a quick video it turned out to not be all that quick of a video but if you guys are interested in picking these up I think that Toink still has some so I'll put a link down in the video description where you can check that out now if you're a fan of Black Panther or you know prop replicas Marvel anything like that I would absolutely add these to your collection guys they display very nicely they're functional you can wear them as cosplay the quality is really very good despite the like I said the rubbing they still have a really good quality to them so without a doubt i would recommend getting these but beyond that guys that's about it once again if you like this video i would really appreciate your support and letting me know by hitting that thumbs up button it actually does go a long way towards helping me out and i would really appreciate it also if you're new here welcome and before you go make sure you subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed that way you'll get instant email notifications whenever i upload a new video and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine or hey, if you already subscribed, now more than ever, it's important to make sure that you are getting those email notifications. We all know just how unreliable that YouTube subscription box is, and the best way to help support my channel and not miss any future reviews of mine is to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And a very special thanks to you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, Thank you. And a huge shout out to all of my patrons who through their continued support helped to make reviews like this possible. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.